Hi guys, welcome back to another iPhone development tutorial. This is going to continue the core data series. Um, I never actually intended to come back to this. I intended to leave it at the, the last stage we got to, which was how to add and delete the entire database. Um, I kind of assumed people would have a go at moving off here themselves, but people kept asking me to make another part which shows you how to push on from the creation part. So say if we create one called I, bleh, I Elmo and one add, you know, okay, you're pressing it, nothing happens because I obviously didn't set through anything, but people ask and I deliver. So now what we're going to do is make it so you press this, it'll push into a new view and you'll be able to edit it and then you can edit the details in the core data. So when you come back to the screen, you'll be able to see this altered. Okay. Now, first of all, so a few little things you have to do. Uh, first of all, I want to actually update this. Press cancel something does happen but it doesn't update the UI so hop into your table view controller and where is Mr. Delete going to delete very simple self dot table view reload data I'm sure you all got that yourselves okay second of all when we load the when we first load the table view controller I have a method called get data I did this because as I said I never really intended to come back to this. This is kind of a, a quick and easy way to get everything done for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually rewrite this in a different place and that place is um, the view will appear. See with the with the way this is the view will appear or view to load will get called every time. I just don't want to, things like the view to load to constantly keep setting these buttons but the view will appear will change even if you've got a, um, a tab bar controller if you try go and tab to tab, if you did load, won't um, call the. So if you did load, it only gets called the first time tab bar controller gets loaded. But if you will, we if you will appear, we get called every time you swap between the views. So that's why we're going to rewrite get data into if you will appear. Okie doke. And also, when I cut down some of this code, we don't really need all of it. I just did it to um, kind of explain things. So, void view will appear and it's going to give us an error because view will appear is probably already down here already yes. so we can delete view will appear and view did appear because we're going to rewrite one and not use the other okay first things first <laughs> let's see we can pretty much copy all of this into view will appear yeah I think so do, do, do. Yes, we can actually copy the entire thing into view will appear. Delete. And also, what this will do, this will also mean we don't have to um, use our notifications as much. Let's double check. Let's get data. Delete that into our H. Delete that before we get a warning. Detail view controller. We can just go in here. Do, 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 do. Where is, do we have anything in here? Yes, we can delete our post notification. Um, there's no observer in that class. Is there observer hiding in here? There is. And you can delete that whole notification. Okay, you can leave the init blank. The view appears doing what we want. And let's see, let's see. If you the load is completely updated, Add is still doing our job, our cells are loading perfectly. Okie dokie, let's set up our next view controller. Okay, very quickly you can do this. You have your controller, uh, you have your control perfect, let's call it contact detail view controller. I'm going to copy that because that's going to come back and bite me in the ass in a minute. And a nip create and table view control dot m import import detail view nope contact yes that's right in our did select row add index delete all the green don't need it that too okie doke contact yes um Let's call it contact equals do, 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 contact do, do it. 
equals contact detail view controller uh, lock in it with the lib name. That's why I copied it because I don't want to risk typing it wrong. Bundle ns bun no bundle main bundle. Okay, and you can leave it at that for now because we're going to be using that later on. But first of all, I'm going to set up our view controller. Okay, we need a few things here. Let's see, one, two, three things. A few little thingies. First things first, because like all our other projects, we need to have a few imports. For this phone, because phone, don't forget, phone is our interface to our core data. So that's what's going to be going between the GUI, um, the, the GUI between the GUI and the um, core data model. So we need that, very important. Now, a few properties. Property, not atomic, retain, IV outlet, UI text field, uh, name text. And number text. And those into your properties to a IB action save. Bingo bango. Into our nib. Make some room for yourselves. This can be very cheap and cheerful. Text field, text field. There we go. One. Make it nice and big. Copy and paste. Make it a bit bigger. A button, two labels, name, and then another one called, as you can guess, number. Number. God damn it. I'm a sucker for symmetry. And it's called a save into your uh, uh, files owner, name text, the text field, do not name it to the label, we'll have a crash if you do that, to that, and then your save to the button, touch up inside. Now, that's our nib done, our nib has been loaded. Now, 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 we must declare a few little properties in here, which I forgot, I was looking at the wrong screen. Okay, property no atomic, retain, phone, and phone. This is going to be our referencing. Then property, no atomic, retain, and then um, NS managed object context. Don't forget, we want to be able to edit this and have it put back into our core data. So it has to be um, a referenced here. Okay. Other words are just saying blah blah we're not connected or synthesized. So synthesize name text number text phone and then context. Perfect. So I've gone a bit fast but I'm feeling this might just be just in time to get this done. Okay. IB action save. It does that. Damn autocomplete sometimes Put in the ass. Okay. Now, what's the best way to do this? Okay, I'm gonna set to do all this first. All right. Do do do. Make some room for ourselves. Okay. Void view will appear. Just easy to keep it this way. Um. You did load. It's gonna take a day off. And this one, you can see view will appear for all this. So view will appear. Self dot title equals phone dot name. Okay, these are all going to be blank because we're going to pass in what phone's going to be and what context is going to be from the table view controller. So don't worry about these just yet. These are the setup. So name text dot text equals phone dot name, and then uh, number. <coughs> don't forget what this number is. Number text dot text. It's a it's a number inside a string. So phone dot number string value. Very important. If you try doing that straight, it'll crash because it's an S number wrapped. It'll give you a very nasty message. Okay, so if we're loading, say our data is already set, okay, we want to change this into our new variable. Very simple. Uh, 
so phone set value our ID is uh, name text dot text for key name very simple all we're doing is changing the pass value from what it used to be to what it is now very very simple this is slightly different though set value it's a number okay if this was plain string very simple but as I said it's always best to know how to manipulate a number a, st a string a date just know how to do it if you're always going to use strings even still do it the proper way at least once so you know what to do so NS number number with integer our integer is number text dot text integer value it's not completing because I didn't do something for key number I think I forgot a bracket somewhere mm, do 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 one two do do Aha. there I always do this I always forget one somewhere and then it comes back and haunts me That's what it is. There we go. Perfect. Let's probably have a small screen. There's a bunch up on you. Okay, so that's, that's all I'm going to save. And then self close. Now close isn't alive yet. All close is going to do is close is just going to make all the text fields go away. So um, name text resign for responder and then number text resign for responder okay so when you press um when you press save it's going to set all these details and then close is going to make all the little um the text fields go away okie doke there's another one you can do okay, i'm just going to copy this from my notes because i'm not going to type it all out this is a very simple way if you press return no matter what you do it'll make the text field go away it's basically um calling the super class of text field and it'll make them all go away if you press return on the keypad very handy now into our table view controller I have to do it for time mm, very close okay a table view controller we've instantiated all our objects in the following class we have an accessor which is contact which is and it gives access to all the contact detail um, information so contact no contact dot context equals context so making the so you want the context um, variable in contact de contact detail view control to to be the same as the one in this class which has the reference to our main core data. Okay, then phone phone equals do 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 our object. Oops in the index pad dot row so this is our reference to our row clicked and then contact dot phone equals phone same here as before we're passing all our information from the cell we clicked from here from the next path to our details in the contact detail view controller okay and then what's going to happen is that's going to load and go okay here's the reference the contact detail detail view control will pull out the information from phone and then you, when you save it in here it'll go back to here into our core data and be saved and display on our GUI. You'll see now in a second exactly how it's going to work self.navigation controller push view controller contact make sure it's the right one make sure it's detail view control you're pushing not okay as I said bad naming convention will bite you in the ass as it might do for me now we have a minute left very quickly build and run this can be close come on load okay this obviously doesn't have enough time tick tock tick tock it works hooray Okay, folks, that's me out of time. Um, there you go. Call me online. Have messed around it. And look, it leads to. Okay, folks, bye. <laughs>